In this video, we're going to take an in-depth look to the admin portal. The admin portal is the best tool you're probably not yet using. So what is it? The admin portal was introduced in 2018. It's an online asset management system that allows CAD administrators the ability to easily add, remove, and manage what products and services each team member is entitled to. Beyond helping to manage and keep track of SOLIDWORKS assets, you can also use the admin portal to track your company's hardware, which has SOLIDWORKS installed on it. So let's take a look at the admin portal. To get started, open up a web browser and navigate to mysolidworks.com. You'll need to log in using your SOLIDWORKS ID. If you don't already have one, you'll need to create it first. And once you're logged in, click on your name in the upper right corner to access the drop down menu and pick the admin portal. Now you're in the admin portal. If you look at the top menu bar, you'll see the four areas you can work on. There's members, products, services, and the CAD admin dashboard. We'll work from left to right, showing you all the different features. Members is where you can manage your company's employees. You can use the tools on the left to search for a member by name or use the filters to help get an understanding of your team members by sorting for things like who has simulation licenses or inspection, for example. To add a member to your team, click the Invite Member button and they'll get an email invitation. Using the admin portal offers you a place to consolidate employee logins to mysolidworks.com, which is a great training resource. You can promote users to admins from here as well. Keep in mind that if you were the first person to log into the account, you'll have the option to become the administrator. Next is products. Products is where you can understand all of your company's SOLIDWORKS licenses and assets. This replaces that traditional Excel spreadsheet we've seen in the past. Here you can assign licenses to users by just clicking on the license and choosing an employee from the drop-down list. Again, you can use the search boxes to search for a license or the filters to filter through your list of assets to help find what you're looking for and better manage all of your assets. Now, assigning here only assigns in name. It doesn't actually activate on the machines. You also have the option to download this list to Excel. And when you click on a license, you get access to detailed information where you can see things like what machine it's installed on. And here, you can convert your standalone licenses to online licensing, which allows the assigned user the ability to use SOLIDWORKS on whatever machine they want using their SOLIDWORKS login and password. Next, we have services. Services is where you can manage your company's subscription services. This helps you understand which licenses are on or off subscription and tech support. And lastly is the CAD admin dashboard. The admin dashboard is different than the other areas because this gives you visibility into the hardware SOLIDWORKS is installed on. You can set benchmarks to understand performance of the machine and even get granular details of the hardware and drivers installed. You can even enforce policies like SOLIDWORKS settings and use of templates. Through the admin dashboard, you can look at stats for a SOLIDWORKS session and this gives you visibility into how much a machine is even using SOLIDWORKS. And that's the admin portal and the CAD admin dashboard. It's your one-stop shop for managing all of your SOLIDWORKS assets and team members.